And in studio right now we have head coach is it, uh, Sarah, right? Okay. And the senior on the team is Sarah Elliman. And the senior on the team is Nikki Kiefer. Kiefer. Uh, Kiefer, oh, thank you. No Sorry. <laughs> Call me Keller from now on. Uh, also a member of the girls' hockey team, the field hockey team. Ladies, uh, good morning. Good morning. So you guys are on fire. Seems to be. <laughs> Things going really well. And so uh, you're 10 and 1. You've, you've had some real upsets here, right? Yes. Um, earlier in the season, we beat uh, Skidmore College. Um, and at the time, they were ranked uh, number three in the nation. Um, and so that was a really, really huge win for us. And it really showed us where we could be and where we are as a team. Nice. And, uh, and Nikki, what do you think here? What, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a senior. You're a senior this year. So this is it. This is it. What do you guys? I mean, I've even heard the words like national championship. You think you guys are? I mean, it's probably a little early to be talking about them, but. Um, I mean, it's it's in the it's in the near in the distant future. We yeah. take it game by game, and we want our E8 championship for a third time, one more time. And where are you from? By the way? I'm from Rome. Oh, you're from Rome. Mm -hmm. So uh, a local on the team. Uh, what's going on with UC sports? It's uh, it seems to really be taking off. Yeah, it's just a really exciting time for athletics at our college. Yeah. Um, we're just building a lot. Um, every team is getting better and better. You know, ice hockey is huge in this community, um, and it's huge on our campus. Yeah. Um, and a lot of other sports are taking off, like like us, field hockey team, our softball team's always in the running, um, and just a lot of good things going on on our campus. So, uh, uh, and Nikki, you are being a senior, you're a captain on the team? Uh, we don't have captains on our team. We have a senior that. leadership. Um, uh -huh. It's just a way for everybody to be able to feel like they can say what they want to say and, and step up and, and take a leadership role. Nice. So uh, speak about that leadership role, um, how, how you guys are playing this year. What's the secret? Um, being able, all 11 of us that are on the field have played, again, had played with each other for at least a year, almost mm -hmm. two years. Um, I think that has a lot to do with our success because we know exactly where each other is going to be without even having to talk about it. Um, I don't know, I think I think just all of us getting the experience when we were younger um, is really key to our success. Yeah. I, I don't want to, uh, I'm not going to talk to you about this, but I hear she's pretty good. Yeah, she's very good. That's the word. She's, she's really very good. good. And she's not a captain because we don't have captains, but she's definitely a leader of our team. Yeah, which is really big, Andrew. So, Nikki is not only a member of the field hockey team, but the ice hockey team, so she's a double athlete. How, how much of your skills on the ice hockey, uh, on the ice, Translate to the field and vice versa. Because they really, uh, I mean, the sports are so, as much as they're similar, they're really so different. They're very similar, but they're very different. Yeah. Um, right now, where the two clash, where I'm trying to um, be at both sports at the same time, uh, I'll come to field hockey practice and I'll try to start doing hockey things and realize, oh, I'm not at that yeah. sport. I can't Sliding yet. across the grass. Or yeah, no. Like that. Well, that like is... in field hockey, how we handle how you handle the ball, it's called a heel toe in ice hockey. And you can't use the back side of the stick in field hockey, but there's many times where I try to use the back side of the yeah, stick. Yeah, all right, all right. And um, how does that, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty incredible to be able to do both sports. I think it's actually a really big advantage um, because Nikki sees the field very, very well, and she can see the not just the next pass, but the next one coming after that. Yeah. Um, she just anticipates a lot better. Um, and I think that's coming from her ice hockey experience. Um, her ice hockey teammate that also plays field hockey, Louis Steele Norton, is also very good at that. I think it's just the faster pace of the ice hockey um, when brought down to the field, to the field hockey uh, field. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a really big advantage, actually. So uh, how tall are you, by the way? You're very tall, it seems. I'm um, around 5'8". Five 5'8", eight. Five eight. all right. Well, of course, I see that as really tall, <laughs> being my size, you know, sitting on the chair. Andrew, what, what do you have there? Um, What's that? Stephen has a question for Nikki. Oh dear Lord, <coughs> Stephen, what, what do you what do you want what do you want with Nikki? Well, good morning, Dylan. Good morning, guys, and good morning, Coach and Nikki. Good morning, Stephen. Well, I was wondering how did Nikki get into ice hockey? Because there are not many uh, women's high high school uh, ice hockey teams in the area, and I was wondering how she got into it and how her local. Uh, Girls can get into it as well. All right, Andrew, give, give him the gold star because that's a good question. That's a good question. I, I should have asked that, uh, Stefan. So, how'd you do that? Um, ice hockey is a family thing for sure, both sides yeah. of my family. Um, my dad grew up playing, and all of his brothers grew up playing. Um, and my grandfather on my mom's side and her brothers grew up playing. So, actually, believe it or not, I learned how to skate before I could actually walk. 
Wow. Um, my dad would coach. I've my heard dad that before. <laughs> I guess that's possible. My dad coached when I was younger, and um, during some of his practices, like towards the end, they put me out on the ice on the walker with skates on my feet. So before I could walk, wow. I learned how to skate. That's awesome. Uh, you must love the fact that you're playing here. I mean, you're from here and you're playing here. That's cool. It's a that's a huge part of my decision. Um, I wasn't really ready. I'm an only child. I wasn't really ready to go away, but I also really liked being this close and being able to have my parents come to every single one of my games and have other family members being so close and being able to come to a lot of my games. And it's nice to go out into the community and not only be recognized because I'm from Utica, but because yeah. I'm local. I, I think I've seen you around the uh, auditorium during the hockey games, having the Comets in town. Of course, what UC has done with both men's and women's hockey is really incredible. And you guys will be playing out on ice hockey. Are you play, Are you part of the Dome thing? Are the, are the mm -hmm. girls, they're not playing. We don't get to play in the Dome. We actually have to play on my round that day. On that day, okay. How good is the hockey team going to be, the ice hockey team this year? Um, It looks it looks like we're going to be pretty good. I mean, yeah. we lost a lot of key people. We had a big um, year last year. Yeah, we lost yeah. a lot of key people last year, but our freshmen coming in look really good. and. Um, I have a lot of confidence in, in our veterans to really step up and make the difference. All right. So, Coach, where are you going this year in field hockey? Um, that's up to the team. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we really have high expectations. We really do because we have the talent level, we have the commitment, we have the leadership, we have the experience. Um, everything's set up that this is going to be our year. Um, it's not going to be easy. We yeah, all know yeah. that. You know, as soon as you get into those playoffs, um, every single team you come up against is going to be very, very tough. But we're, we're confident. We're confident in ourselves. Um, we just, we work together very well as a team and we're going to go as far as we can. All right. Well, listen, each time you have a year like this and what's been going on the last few years, all it does is help you down the road for recruitment. Very true, which, grow, is, right? which is going to be really important because I have 11 important seniors on my team this year. All right. Oh, boy, yeah. All right, well, good luck, guys. Thank you for coming in, and congratulations. We'll be following along, both in uh, field hockey and uh, in ice hockey as well. Thank, Thank you. you so much.